Hello to all my followers. In this video you will see a new Beetle, 1.9, ALH, from 1999 with starting problems. I told the owner to change the starter, but he didn't want to do that. The starter does not turn the engine enough for the ECU to start the injection. The ECU software has been modified so that the injection starts at even lower engine speeds. The owner also wanted to increase the power of the car. It was time for an old school job because I had to desolder the flash memory chips from the ECU to read them with the TL-866 programmer. I replaced the original chips with equivalent ones because the original ones are OTP. The map with the amount of injection required for starting has been modified. I flashed the new chips with the modified map and put them in PLCC32 adapters back on the ECU board. Enjoy watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I started by removing the ECU from the car. These plastics break all the time. I had no other option. I tied the ECU back with clips to hold it in place. I opened the ECU, identified the flash memories and desoldered them from the board.
The screwdriver must not be inserted too far inside because the components on the board can be destroyed. This is the EEPROM memory in which the immobilizer data is stored. The two chips that contain the flash memory are TMS27C010 in the PLCC32 capsule. I put flux paste and desoldered the two components with a hot air station. I cleaned the flash memory pads in the board. With the TL-866 programmer I rid the memories as TMS-27C010 chips. I put AM29F010 flash memory and wrote the modified map.
I soldered on the board PLCC32 adapters to put the AM29F010 chips in them. If the ECU software needs to be modified again, the ECU board should not be subjected to thermal stress again. Since it is easier for the two components to be removed from the adapters than to be desoldered and soldered again on the board. This is how the board looks after the change is made. I put the ECU back in the car and started it, everything was fine. In addition to an easy start, the car also received a chip tuning stage 1. The original files as well as the modified ones can be downloaded from my webpage, you can find the link in the description. As you can see, the car starts well now. Don't forget to subscribe like the video and if the information I provided was helpful. Or if you want to support my work on this YouTube channel, you can do it either by using the thanks button below the clip or by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.